Um, there's been some discussion, Wally's for tomorrow, um, last year made the decision to not use our boats for catch and release at fishing tournaments. Uh, in the mission statement for Wally's for tomorrow, um, we had the provision that we espoused catch and release. Um, but we've never been part of the fishing tournament organization as, you, as such. And now there are technologies, photograph and you know, measure and release technologies that allow fish to be taken in tournaments and immediately released. That way you don't get death uh, from tournament activities. The activities that were going on that resulted in our having a prohibition on using our boats was the traditional method where the fish are brought in, they're measured, they're taken up on the stage, they're handled, they're taken back to holding tanks, they're taken back out in the lake and turned loose. Uh, that quite often results in quite a mortality rate. So because there are tele, you know, technologies and advantages to the using this type of technology, we felt that it's be we're better off if we just don't allow our boats to be used for the other methods any longer. It's still within our you know, mission of, of catch and release. We, we support those kinds of activities, but uh, we didn't see a need for walleyes for tomorrow to be involved in the old school technology or, or methods of, of release that quite often resulted in significant numbers of fish. I mean, uh, depending on the size of the tournament, obviously, but um, I won't pick on any particular tournament, but there are tournaments that have had four and 500 fish die over the course of a two day tournament, especially when the water gets warm. So uh, to put any issues to rest about us uh, not supporting tournaments, if people want to have tournaments, fine, go for it. But use technologies that are currently available uh, to virtually eliminate death by tournament. So that's where we pretty much stand on the issue.